Hello guys, Cyprian from FUFL and I'm back for a third tutorial on GMSH and in today's tutorial we'll talk about uh, extruding mesh uh, we'll talk about also how to create a parameter uh, in order to make your model parametric and change something in the GUI uh, and we'll talk about uh, some of the options available to, to change the colors or uh, stuff like that so let's start So like in the previous video, I have I've opened the tutorial number 3, t3.go and I have opened it also in the GUI of GMSH and now I'm looking at um, the first thing which is the include t1.go so it's basically reopening the first tutorial so building a rectangle like that and we see that we have the points uh, displayed here so um, so the first thing we'll, we'll do is that we'll extrude this. So we did, did that already with the geometry in the previous tutorial, but this time we'll extrude uh, and we will at the same time give some layers to the mesh. So we want to extrude the 2D mesh. So for this, uh, so first let's define a parameter h equal 0 0.1 and let's use the same extrude function and in this extrude function we'll uh, feed two things first is the surface so surface one this is this rectangle and then we give it some layers so you see you have two numbers in uh, brackets here well that's uh, so they are two numbers so this means that they will have two layers and each of those layer will be split into the number which is written here so eight split for the first layer two splits for the second one and um, this number here are the ratio of the split so I'll show you what this means right now so let's just execute the script let's reload that and uh, mesh it uh, okay I haven't saved this so yeah it doesn't work reload so you see that this is extruded and if I mesh it now I'm able to see um, an extrusion of mesh so the 2d mesh which is here was on the bottom has been extruded in this direction and I see that I have um, a split like that 50 50 and uh, the first layer has eight splits the second one has two uh, well I call that splits but it's called subdivisions but it's uh, the same thing so if I was to um, use 0 0.3 for the first one, let's see what I would have. You see this, uh, this de decreases here and this increases. So we cannot, um, the last of those numbers should always be one. And this means that th it goes up to the end of the extrude to the H parameter. So if we, uh, we were to put 1.2 for example we'll get an error here it won't work so yeah you try to mesh and you get some weird things so um yeah so you need to have one here and we had 0 0.5 okay so we have the first the first part of the tutorial is to do that. Now what you can do also is to uh, rotate um, the mesh. So you can rotate and extrude at the same time and with subdivisions. So if you look here the syntax is almost the same so it's just taking the extrude but instead of uh, feeding only one uh, parameter 00h here it's giving a bracket of three stuff so this because this is in rotation it requires the axis of rotation the the point where the, the rotation will start and uh, the actual uh, rotation angle uh, and then you give it the surface so here it's written surface 28 which is the ID of this surface that we we have extruded um, and if you don't know how to get this ID you can do like um, in the previous tutorial so you could uh, for example let's check that the, the ID of this surface is 28 um, so let's um, 
let's comment that and let's check first the ID of the surface here. So let's create a list. Don't forget to put the, the comma here, the, the, the sign here. And um, to know the result, what's inside, we have to use a printf and uh, dollar, uh, not dollar, but um, like that g, and then um, surf zero. And if we do this and we try that, we see that here in the info it gives me 28. So that's the ID of this surface here. So cool. So I, I don't need that. So I will delete this again. But you get the idea. So the we basically taking the ID of this surface. And this time we're just giving it seven layers like this without specifying um, the, the, the number of subdivisions or anything. So everything will be the same. And recombine in order to merge that with the previous. So let's save this. Save this and let's reload. And you see that now, if I merge that, I have a beautiful uh, extrusion in rotation with um, seven subdivision. Now, um, here it's written that you can, with the built in geometry kernel, you can have only angles uh, inferior to pi. So if you want you have if you want more than that you, you want to do a full turn then you'll have to use several rotation or you can use the open cascade geometry kernel okay so that's uh, for the extrusion and now there's a very uh, let's talk about parameters so you can define some kind of parameters that will appear in the GUI in some way so for example you have this comment define constant and you give it this angle and say this angle will be equal to 90. You give it a min, a max value, a number of steps, and you give it a name. And uh, once you, um, you run the script in, with this parameter, so this uh, parameter appears here in the GUI, the twisting angle, it's, uh, it's written here. And we will be using this in the next instruction to um, to create another extrusion with a rotation into it. So you can create an extrusion with a rotation. And the syntax is the same. So it's, uh, it's extrude. First you give it the value of the extrusion and then you give it the, the three stuff needed for the rotation. Uh, and then you give it the, the surface ID of the surface, the number of layers and we combine. And if and everything is saved out in the list, call out. And if I uh, reload the script right now, you see that I have this uh, rotation here. So if, if I measure this, you see I have a twisting. I have rotation plus a translation plus an extrude. And I can modify this parameter here. So if I was to increase to 50, this twisting automatically changes and I have some kind of control in the GUI. So we have saved the return value of this extrude command into this out list. And it's written here that um, if you want to get different elements uh, from this out, if you, you do out zero, you're getting the extruded surface, the, the top surface of, of this. If you use out one, you're getting the created volume ID uh, or, or tag. And if you use out two or out three, you're getting the tags of the lateral surfaces. So that's how this uh, uh, the saving of this extrude into a, a list works. So if I want to save the, the volume into to create, let's say, one physical volume that will be used for boundary conditions, for example, um, I have to do like this one. So this is the volume number one, volume number two, and the ID of the third volume, I'm using out one like this. So that gives me um, a physical group with all the three volumes into it. Now, the last thing is um, 
we can also change some options from um, this scripting and this this is done by doing like this geometry dot uh, point numbers equal one um, you can change the colors so if for example I wanted to, to put the colors of the points in orange just put orange like this reload the script and you see the color of all uh, the points is uh, changing so you can change the, the color of the text the color of the points the color of the mesh um, you know there's a lot of uh, customization uh, possible or you can change the color of the surfaces like this and you can see everything that has been changed in this help current options and workspace and here you have all the options which have been modified and and this is the whole list of all the options available uh, in here so you can really um, you can really customize the colors and everything as you want and that's all for this um, third tutorial of GMSH so thank you very much for watching if you like this video give it a like and let me know what you want to see uh, I'm gonna go for the next tutorial so yeah, thank you again